always found it interesting as a kid. We would go to school excursion and get taken to the uh, the fair or the the world show with all the farm animals, and we'd we'd go to the, the children's petting zoo and we'd, we'd pat the cows and the little baby sheep and, t- and the baby chickens. And I've got photos as a kid of me doing that stuff, and not, the look on my face was sort of like you know curiosity, and, and it wasn't like I was like planning to pounce on them like a, a pit bull terror or a cat. So I'm going to share John's video here. Uh, he, he speaks it really well, so check it out. Hello, John Sackers here. Yesterday I was in a thrift store because I care about people, animals, and the environment. So whenever I need a, something, I prefer to buy a used item. And while in the thrift store, I happen to see this book. Mealtime Training Pack. Hmm, gee, I wonder what the people who made this book are training kids to do. Eat my fucking friends. Source of protein? Are you kidding me? These are innocent creatures who want to live, just as you and I want to live. What do you think my mother would have done if you had knocked on her door and said, Yeah, hello, we'd like to kill and eat your son so we can get our protein. Look at this chicken. If you couldn't walk up to this chicken and slit her throat, then why do you think it's okay to pay someone else to do your dirty work for you? It is not okay. Get your protein from plant foods like tofu, tempeh, seitan, soy milk, almond milk, beans. You can make some hummus with garbanzo beans. Make some soup, chili, burritos with beans. You can also get protein from peanuts, almonds, walnuts, sunflower seeds, whole wheat bread, nutritious and delicious quinoa. Source of iron? When you look at this adorable baby, is that what you see? A source of iron? You have no right to murder a lamb, just as you have no right to murder a human. Would you have stolen me from my grandmother's house, slit my throat, disemboweled me, and consumed my corpse so you could get your recommended daily intake of iron? Lambs grow into sheep, like Grace the sheep at Farm Sanctuary. Look at her wagging her tail, just like a dog. Once again, animals are our friends. It's wrong to murder cows for iron, just as it's wrong to murder humans for iron. Here I am with a cow at Farm Sanctuary. Cows are gentle, peaceful creatures who want to live just as you and I want to live. Leave cows alone. Eat plant foods to get your iron, like spinach, fortified breakfast cereals. This cereal has pumpkin seeds in it, which are a source of iron. Garbanzo beans are a source of iron, and so is tahini, which tastes great in hummus or on bread. Ugh. Again with the corpses. Do you know how wrong it is to be feeding corpses to children? You do not need to murder fish to get your omega-3s. Leave fish alone. How would you like it if you were swimming along, minding your own business, and someone caught you in a net or with a hook in your mouth? Victoria Braithwaite is one of the leading authorities on fish pain, and she says in her new book that fish feel pain. Get your omega-3s from plant foods like chia seeds, flax seeds, flax oil, walnuts. You do not need to drink cow milk to get your calcium. Cow milk is for cow babies. If you want to drink an excretion from an animal, drink my semen. Yum. Calcium is a mineral. Minerals come from the ground. You can eat plant foods to get your calcium, like kale and collard greens. My favorite way to consume greens is by drinking them in green smoothies. Just throw some dark leafy greens into a blender with fruits and water. Blend and enjoy. You can also get calcium from calcium set tofu, fortified beverages like soy milk and orange juice. This is me when I ate animals. I just didn't know any better. Talk to your children about veganism. If you want to eat meat, eat yourself. Leave the animals alone. Go vegan. Please visit chooseveg.com. And that's why we, we don't take kids to slaughterhouses, because if you did, they would never eat meat, because it goes against their instinct, against their human physiology against their heart. And if you want to see blood tests of a long-term vegan, just Google up vegan blood tests on YouTube or Google and you will see more and more tests coming up there. So all good after 10, 11 years of vegan now. And there's my blood tests and they're all picture perfect. Fantastic testosterone, cortisol, glucose, B12, iron, calcium, selenium, zinc, magnesium, manganese, all awesome. Because people say you won't get enough nutrients if you're a vegan. So if that was correct, then only vegans would have B12 issues or iron issues or calcium issues or whatever. But we see that anybody can have these, these mineral or vitamin issues. So often people say, well, you won't get enough of this as a vegan, but I take the supplement anyway. And, and my primal paleo low carb person sells me the, the protein powders and all this.
So you can just ask them what deficiencies that only vegans get. Only vegans get, and there's not a single one on the planet. There's not a single disease or deficiency that's only exclusive to vegans, which debunks the whole notion that you need animal products for survival. Because people say, if you don't eat meat for a week, you're dead. I've heard that before. People say, if you don't eat milk for a year, you die. Coming up 11 years now, vegan. Cycled over 190,000 kilometers. So don't follow the dogma, follow your heart, follow common sense. Because out there in society, in the meat industry dogma, they teach you what to eat. They don't teach you how to think. Critical thinking, get rid of that.